Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Sarismo, and today I'm going to show you how to sidechain. I know there are a lot of other sidechain videos out there, but this one is going to show you how to use a single kick drum to add the sidechain effect to multiple synthesizers and um, other instruments. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, first, I'll just play you a quick uh, section of this sidechain effect. So once you watch this video and learn how to do this, you can get your synthesizers to do this effect. Here we go. Alrighty, so I'm just going to solo out the kick drum and the lead synth here, just so you can hear the two by themselves. And this is without, and this is without the kick. So you hear a real difference there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, you're going to want to create your kick drum that you want to use to send the signal to your synth. Um, so normally, what I do is create a combinator and then create a redrum computer, and then throw a drum sample in there. Doesn't really matter which one we use for this tutorial. Um, go and fill in 1, 5, 9, and 13. Okay. I have to mute this here. Alright, and next, create some spider audio merger and splitters. We're going to create a few because we're going to use this same kick drum for several. Uh, different layers to be sidechained. Okay, hit tab to flip that around. Disconnect it here. You want your stereo out from your drum to go into this input on the spider spider component here. And then this output to this input, this output to this input, and that to that. And then on the final spider, you want to send that signal back up into your combinator. So you get sound. So let's just double check. All right, so we still have sound. That's good. OK, so next let's create the synthesizer. And I'm just going to create the same one that I played for you a second ago. All right, so whatever synthesizer you choose, it doesn't matter. But all that you need to remember to do is to create a, an M-class compressor at the end of it. I just bypass that. Okay, so this is what the side chain will come from. Okay, so back up to your kick drum. You can grab this kick drum signal from any one of these three, these three, these three, or these three. And you can make as many of these spiders as you want. It doesn't matter. Um, this should be plenty, uh, unless you're insane. Okay, so pull this down from, pull the signal down from that spider. Bring it down to your side chain in on this compressor that you just created on your synth. And I'm actually going to copy this melody that I played earlier down into our new synth that was just created. Okay, we'll give it a quick listen now before we change anything. Okay, nothing special. No side chaining going on there. So for the sidechain effect, what you're going to want to do is bring the threshold all the way down, bring your ratio all the way up, bring your attack and release all the way down. That's my starting point. And then I start from there, and then I, I slowly bring the threshold up while listening to my song to see how, you know, how it sounds, how it fits into the mix. And sometimes on the ratio, I'll bring it up to... Um, I think 161 by 1 is a pretty pretty good ratio. I learned that from Lucky Date, and he obviously knows what he's doing, um, and it sounds really good. And we can't forget to turn on the softeny here. So let's give it a listen. All right, so there you have it. Sounds pretty good. And remember, the higher you turn up this threshold knob, the less side chain effect you'll have. Um, so I have mine at about minus 33.7. It seems to sound good uh, with this synth and this kick drum, but it's going to be different for every combination that you have. Um, 
So just keep that in mind. All right. And if you want to create other instruments that you want to have side chained, just remember create that M class compressor at the end of your synth and bring your kick drum signal from one of these outputs here down into your side chain in on your compressor for your synthesizer. And that's all I got guys. I hope that you find this tutorial helpful. And if you do, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will have many more videos to come. Thanks for watching.